everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I've got part two of this altered bottle and I'm going to paint it using these Americana and uh, plaid and apple barrel and different acrylic paints. What I've done is I've started the bottle with a coat of Americana in the buttermilk. You can see that. Alright, so just a good base coat. I've got greens for the leaves, two different colors. I've got purples for the grape. And this one's a gloss. I'll have to find a different one that's not. A sandstone for the building. A nutmeg brown. This is going to be for the antiquing. A sea breeze blue for the sky. A rusty nail. Sorry about that. For the roof. This persimmon is also going to be for the sky, as is the Indian red. And the antique gold. Okay. But we're going to start with the Bahama blue, the sea breeze blue. <laughs> Bahama blue is the one I usually use. But it's got just a little bit more green in it than this one does. I should have shook these ahead of time. Alright, I've got three sizes of round brush. As you can see there, I have no idea what number they are. As you can see, they're well used. Alright. We're going to start up here at the top. Okay, I wet my brush a little bit. should have started with a stiffer brush. And we're going to paint the sky down a little ways. Let's see. I'm going to take it down to about down in these grapes. And this may take several coats. And don't worry about whether you get it on the grapes and the vines and the leaves. Because your background, you want it to be behind everything. And the only way to do that is to 
is to do it. <laughs> is to really get it on up next to everything and fill in all that white space or that buttermilk space. <laughs> okay. We're going to continue on just like that. down to about there sorry about that but I'm down to about right here leave some room for the sunset we're going to paint See what I mean? You really want to get it in there. Okay, and just really, I'm going to continue on doing this and then let it dry completely before we start the next color okay okay I didn't care for that antique gold at all so I've got this bright yellow by Delta and I'm gonna mix a little bit of that a little more of that let's go with about a four to one maybe Let's see what I think wow that is strong Okay, let's go with more like a 10 to 1. More of the bright yellow. Alright, that's a little better. And really, what I should have done first to mark off approximately where I want it at. Okay, it's really not going to be very much. Wow, that is so dark. We'll put a coat of this on and then go back and put a coat of that bright yellow over. what I think. Now the reason that we wanted it to dry in between these two coats is because of course the yellow and the blue will make a rather 
green. I didn't really want it green. It's off her brush. And I'm sorry, that's my fish jumping up and smacking the glass on the fish tank. It's his favorite pastime, I think. Just a little to fill in the stark line between the yellow and the blue. Okay. mix for not much paint. Okay. And it doesn't look as green in, in real life. So the next color we're going to go with is the orange. But this time I'm going to choose a different paintbrush. I've got a stiff, a stiff brush. And again, ew, they dropped the paint and the pencil in the paint. Okay, we're gonna. I can hear everybody freaking out right now with these colors, but trust me, they won't look like this. When we're done. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. 
the last color is the Indian red. Now, of course, you can choose any acrylic colors that you want. This is basically just to give you an idea of what you can do. There's our bit of blazing sunshine. Uh, sunset. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Got the avocado green. For these cypress trees. Prop your finger on your part that hadn't been painted yet if you can. It will help you be a little steadier. And when you go to paint the other side, turn it over. And if you get a little, a little bit on the base, don't, don't fret about it too much, because the antiquing will take care of that. Okay.
Okay, let's do the ones on the other side, and I'll be back. Alright, anywhere that you've got it on there, where you can definitely see it, just fix it up a little bit. Okay, now I've gone and painted everything color color book style you know just and then I've gone back and put just a little bit of shading on the building and on the rocks a little bit on the roof and I've done just a little bit of highlighting on the trees I still got the grapes and leaves to do. So we're going to start with the leaves. And this is exactly the same way I did everything else. Just going to take this stiff brush, dip it into the lid of my paint, and then pounce a little bit of it off on my glass over here. And this is the darker color. Okay, it's not much, it's just enough to give it just a little two-tone color. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do the same thing with the grapes except in the lighter color just like that
just like the grapes will have a little blush on them. A little bit of that frosty goodness. Okay. And then we're going to let everything dry. Go back and touch up the uh, background anywhere you really think you need to. Like I can see just a few places in the blue that have been missed. Alrighty then. Okay, now we're just going to let everything dry for a minute. And then I'll be back and show you what we're going to do to it next. Okay, the first thing I've done is sprayed it with um, this Van Dyke Sepia Brown which is a Lindy Stamp Gang product that doesn't have any shimmer in it. And this has actually got a little bit of walnut stain added to it because it was almost empty. Alright, so I've sprayed that all over. I'm just going to sit and let it dry for a minute. Add a little more any place I think it needs it. And then after that dries, I'm going to attempt to spray it with this. It's a homemade um, shimmer spray. And it's champagne, acrylic paint, and water. And a little bit of Pearlex powder. So I'm going to spray that or attempt to if my bottle will spray. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and spray it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know how it is. can heat dry if you keep your heat gun far enough back.
Lordy. My box out of the way. And my curly paper. Now, as you can see, the shimmer spray really gives it that look of, um, of a, you know, of, mm -hmm, of an antique glass. Gives it that shimmer that really hangs in the crevices and the Van Dyke sepia brown just really gives it a little bit of antiquing which is going to be our next part okay but before I do that I'm going to seal the whole thing with a rust-oleum satin finish it's what's in here and as you can see it's sort of yellow it's a sort of yellowed product I wasn't very happy with it when I bought it but it may have just sit in the store a little long this is a brand new one and the, the label has changed from the one before. So I'm hoping that this one's not going to be yellow like that. But we shall see. But for this for this uh, particular purpose, the yellow's all right. Okay. So when this dries completely, I will put a coat of this water-based soap and water cleanup. And it's actually a semi-gloss. So that should be interesting. This is still the satin though. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you the antiquing. Okay, I've painted the whole surface of the piece with the um, antiquing medium. You can just use acrylic paint um, with some glazing gel in it or um, just do a little bit of it at a time if you just have acrylic paint. But this is just a acrylic antiquing gel. So I painted it on and then we're just going to wipe it back off. Just got my really ratty rag. See if I can keep from pushing my camera off the table. As I push you over to watch my Dr. Pepper. <clears throat> and we're just going to keep doing this until we 
get as much wiped off as, as we want. And if you get a spot that won't wipe off, that's gotten too dry on you, just squirt it with a little water. Okay, and I'm just going to keep doing that, and I'll be back. Okay, here it is. The antiquing dye all wiped back off. And the only thing left to do is to do something to the top and hang some charms from around the neck. There it is. As far back as I can get it. Boy. Okay. Alrighty, turned out really nice, I think. If you have any questions, leave them below. And that's it for today. I shall holler at y'all later. Bye now.